Hi, I'm Jervis Cole. I'm the head boys basketball coach at Edison High School. Also, I am a business manager and I manage athletes and entertainers around the world. Well, growing up in Fresno, California, especially in West Fresno, was for us it was fun back in the day. You know, it was, it was you didn't have all the video games, you didn't have the cell phones, it was just you and your friends and just hanging out. And we didn't have a lot growing up, but we had my mom and my grandmother, you know, like a lot of the families here in West Fresno and East uh, Fresno, places like that, you have single family homes. And I think the stronger the parent is, it can be a man, it can be a woman, just as they're strong and, and strong willed and want you to be successful, you will be. I worked all the way through my high school year, you know, uh, 15, 16, all the way to 18. And, um, I was recruited at, you know, at KFC, you know, literally had schools coming to KFC while I was working and, and that was just the mentality and I think, you know, with my mom and, and grandmother and our family, you know, my aunts and uncles all instilled in us was, you know, that work ethic and uh, the coaches I had from uh, John Sato Junior High to Daryl Miller, uh, Eric Cedarquist and pastors at Washington Union uh, were all pretty much similar, you know, they all cared about the players and when I first took over the job at Edison, um, to me, I just had a lot of kids that were lost, you know, didn't know what they wanted to do, uh, didn't have a lot of um, confidence, and that's all I try to instill is confidence and be determined to be whatever you want to be. You know, um, no one can hold you back. No one can tell you what you're going to be. I was told I wasn't going to be able to go to college, you know, by teachers. I was told I would never amount to anything while I was in college, you know. And, Agents telling you, you will never play pro. And it's like every time you open a door, people try to slam it. And if I listen to those people, I will be just like a lot of people that just work a regular nine to five and not had the opportunity to, to, to travel the world and, and see what I saw. So just telling kids they can be whatever they want. And when I look at Black History Month, it's about how do I help the kids in my community I grew up. You know, as a coach was the best way for me. You know, um, working with the city, um, on One Fresno is a great way to help kids. So all of these things that I do that gives back to the community is, is, is part of Black History Month every month for me. And it's not just you know a one-time thing, it's not just Juneteenth, it's all about how do we continually give back. When it comes down to it, I'm from West Fresno. I'm always a West Fresno kid that, you know, let's just say made it out, but at the same time, I want to give back. 